Yo, what is up guys? Stellboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. Now, am I the only one getting sick to death of John Fury? For me, this guy is the biggest irritant in British boxing. The guy to me really signifies what is wrong with society in many ways. For most people, all they really require is some fucking idiot waving and flailing his arms around, screaming, flipping tables, and they're entertained. That is the low level frequency in which they operate on. They have no real world interests uh, of any consequence. They're not interested in how the world works, or what is going on in the world, anything like that, let alone form their own opinions on what is going on in the world. That, that would be too much to ask for, wouldn't it? These types can't sit down for more than 20 seconds and focus on one thing. You know, these are the TikTok generation, so to speak. All they require is 20 seconds of somebody acting like a complete degenerate, and they're satisfied. And listen, John Fury, for those low-frequency individuals, is going to deliver. That gets their juices flowing. Not trying to educate themselves on the world, maybe looking at history, again looking at current goings-on, things of that nature, looking at different takes, alternative takes in regards to current events. You know, that, that's why society's where it's at now. Um, these individuals have no attention span, no no desire to educate themselves further and i don't mean academically just you know trying to garner a greater understanding in regards to the world and everything currently going on now and in the past and potentially in the future john fury again to me is a symptom of this tiktok generation this tiktok mindset this low attention span generation Again, 20 seconds of this oaf waving and flailing his arms around, screaming, flipping tables. That's all these people need. I'm quite, quite frankly, I'm sick to death of John Fury. A few decades ago, this guy would be called out for what he is. A loud, slobbenly oaf, a bully, a degenerate. Not this working class hero that he tries to paint himself out to be, and that some of his dumbass followers proclaim him to be. No, all John Fury does is perpetrate the stereotype that working class people are stupid, loud, obnoxious, etc. I am sick to death of this guy. How this guy keeps on getting airtime among these, you know, boxing interview channels, etc. How this guy is always at shows, sometimes even getting TV gigs as like a commentator or an analyst. I've seen this guy on BT before. Seriously, what, what does this guy offer apart from screaming and shouting and god knows what else? What else does he offer? Does he ever offer any great insight? No. All he does is make a spectacle of himself, and we saw that a couple of days ago at this, um, this influencer boxing card. That's all I saw on Twitter for the whole day. Again, is that all it takes to entertain the average person? Seriously? Some carryings on from a middle-aged man? You know, is that all it takes? Jesus Christ, people. And for me, the worst thing about this John Fury situation, and the fact this guy gets so much airtime, isn't even the way he necessarily acts out all the time. It's not even just that. My biggest issue with John Fury, I think this guy is a nasty piece of work. The guy's a bully. That's all he is. He'll call out people who are smaller than him. I mean, we saw that with the Carl Frampton situation. A guy who is, what, one third of his size? He was happy to square up to Carl Frampton, but when it's someone like Deontay Wilder, he'll only kick off when there's a million and one security guards in front of him. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you now, he's the type of guy on the streets who's never had a fight where he didn't think he could win. He's, he's one of those guys you can just tell is super selective in who he would fight. And we see that with his, uh, with his conviction as well, gouging out the eye of some little old man. That's John Fury, and this guy gets a platform, and he gets put on a pedestal, where some even call him wise and, you know, truth-teller. This guy wouldn't know the truth if it hit him in the face. 
I mean, look at his some of his claims about all of these bare knuckle fights. I fought once for a hundred grand in a bare knuckle fight. Yeah, what's the name? What? Who was the opponent, John? What was his name? Oh, I can't remember. Bro, I could fight a guy for two grand. I'm remembering that guy's name. You best believe it. You know, this habit of lying about your past, trying to be something you're not. Ultimately, he was a low-level pro boxer, and that's it. None of these bare-knuckle claims have ever been verified. None of them. Um, and, you know, a low-level boxer and a street thug. A bully. That's all John Fury ever was until he hit the jackpot with his son. And quite frankly, I can't stand Tyson Fury, but I actually kind of feel sorry for him having to deal with this guy constantly interfering with his career. You know, and I saw this press conference with John Fury kicking off at this Misfits card, and his other son, Tommy Fury, was next to him as he was kicking off. And to me, Tommy just looked embarrassed, as he should be. Your father's acting like that? All for a few clicks, all for a few headlines? It would be interesting to get some sort of diagnosis on John Fury. I do wonder, is there some sort of psychopathy going on with him? He's certainly a narcissist, to say the least. And, listen, one piece of advice I'd give you guys, um, just from my life experiences, you should always be very wary of people who tell lies for no reason. And I mean, what I mean by that is, you, I'm sure we've all ran into these people. People who lie about certain aspects of their lives. Lies that don't even make sense, just to make themselves sound better. You know, lying about certain experiences they've had. So let's say, for example, you achieve something good, right? And this type of person will come back to you and say, well, I've done this even though you know it's a lie, and there's no reason to lie, but, but they do anyway. It's, it's people who lie for no reason whatsoever, just to try to one-up you, or try to sound better than they actually are. You really have to be aware of these types of people, because they have no scruples. They have no, no moral code or sense of self-worth if you're lying about such things. Because ultimately, if you're willing to lie about such trivial things, what else are you willing to do to one-up somebody? or um, or outshine somebody. Most of these people are so mediocre, they do it by lies, but given the opportunity, they will stab you in the back, no doubt about it. And John Fury reminds me of that sort of person. I don't believe his stories about bare knuckle fights. Where's any footage? Where's any testimony? You fought a guy for what, a hundred grand, whatever it was, and you don't remember the guy's name? And there's idiots who believe this, by the way. That's the shocking thing. You know? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I probably wouldn't go in on John Fury if I didn't think he was such a bad person. I, I really think this guy is a true piece of shit, I'll be real with you. I don't like this guy at all. Plus the way he's trying to vicariously live through his sons, live through their experiences. I understand you're going to be proud of your sons and whatnot, but surely... Surely at some point you take a back step and just look on from afar and admire what your sons are doing. I don't know man, I, I just feel there are certain aspects of John Fury's psychological makeup that are disturbing and dark. I really wouldn't trust this guy as far as I can throw him. And yeah, quite frankly, I'm sick of seeing this guy all over social media. I'm sick of seeing this guy on TV. I'm sick of this guy just making an absolute buffoon of himself, quite frankly. If I was a serious boxing promoter, like Eddie Hearn or Frank Warren, Ben Shalom, um, I wouldn't have this guy at my events, I'll be real. I wouldn't have this guy at my events, he's a liability and a clown. Uh, can't stand him. Can cannot stand him, but anyway. Share your thoughts below on John Fury. Are you sick of him too? Do you think I'm going too far? Maybe you guys think it's not that deep, but I don't know, man. This guy, there's there's more to this guy than than what he portrays. Hence why we see so much fakery, lies, and tomfoolery. If an individual like John Fury waves his left hand, look at his right hand. He's that sort of guy. Anyway, share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Delboy. Peace.